Welcome to Praxy Best Practices. I'm Soren Kaplan, co-founder of Praxy.com. McKinsey's seven degrees of freedom model really represents a approach to define how you're gonna grow your business. It's called seven degrees of freedom because you can choose any of seven different dimensions or levels to grow your business, to invest in your business, and to focus on your business strategy. So the, the challenge is looking at each of these as a challenge, meaning the first degree is really maximizing existing customers. So they're already your existing customers, you're you know, selling things to them. How do you just maximize kind of that customer base? It's lower risk, it's less of a challenge, and it allows you to probably move more quickly, but there might be less of a reward there. You may, unless you're going after a significant disruptive innovation, you're probably gonna be focused more on the incremental side. Now, as you go up to the very top of the model with the highest degree of freedom in terms of the challenge of, uh, related to it, it's really about creating a whole new competitive space. So that's where you've got investments in technology, you've got new go-to-market models, you've got a whole new business model probably as well. And that is harder, it's probably more long-term, but it might reap greater benefits and rewards. Now within the top and the bottom, in the rest of those seven degrees, the other five, you've got things like geographic expansion and other strategies that might be you know, different levels of difficulty and challenge and different levels of return. And it's really up to you to analyze and look at each of these def different options and then come up with pluses and minuses for going after each. But it's a great tool to get a team talking about the options and getting aligned around what you wanna do to move forward and grow your business. For more best practice templates and applications, visit Praxy.com.